A slippery rock car crash ends with one car on its side. I'm Kenneth Moore. And I'm Melissa Cerencioni. We'll have more on the upsetting accident along with your weather forecast coming up on WSRU News. On February 19, 2013, one person was injured in a two-vehicle traffic collision at 6.32 p.m. A gray Toyota SUV turned left onto Keysta Road as a white Suzuki sedan with a flat front tire was traveling down the road. The driver of the sedan attempted to swerve away to avoid collision, but flipped on its side and pinned the driver inside of the vehicle. The SUV collided into the flipped vehicle. The extent of the driver's injuries is not known at this time. A Lehigh University student sued her school for $1.3 million over her grade. But the court overruled the case. Executive Director for Academic Records, Elliot Baker, said that you has never been sued for grades. However, students should contact their professors if they have concerns. If that doesn't prevail, they have the right to go through an appeal process. Last Wednesday, Slippery Rock hosted Cupcake Wars, modeled after the popular TV show. WSRU's TV Zone, Sam Passarello, was on the scene with the coverage. Before we get started, I'm going to go over the rules real quick. Each team will have an hour beginning at 6. The people who decorate more may earn some more extra points in the most period category. Keep that in mind. You can choose to decorate your cupcake. Up front, we have building the Team B. In honor of Black History Month, Slip Rock University is holding many events to celebrate those who changed the world forever. This past Tuesday at 7 p.m., the Beauty in Our Eyes event celebrated African-American women. Thursday at 7 p.m., the event Rock the Runway showcased black-owned clothing brands and our very own SRU alumni, Mars Jackson, performed. Check out SRU's website for more information on upcoming events. Hi, I'm Peter Moran, here with your SGA update. Last week, the SGA voted to raise three different fees. Those fees included Student Life Enhancement Fee, the Campus Recreation Fee, and the increased housing fee in North Hall, Rhodes, and the Rock Apartments. These fees will help improve internet within these buildings. The fourth suggested fee was for the parking department, raising the set of $25 per year to $50. This final fee was denied. And I'm Peter Moran. The Slippery Rock basketball team defeated its rival, IUP, on Saturday in a nail-biting finish. Also, your local weather report is coming up. Hi, this is Neve Shulman, and you're watching WSRU. On Wednesday, February 20th, National Cherry Pie Day was in full swing here at Slippery Rock University. Boozle Dining Hall was the site for pie tasting, and the Smith Student Center hosted a pie eating competition. February is the month for American pie celebrations, but the 20th is the only day that is stamped with its own specific styled pie. Slippery Rock men's indoor track and field team took third place at the Pennsylvania State Athletic Conference Championships in Edinburgh last weekend. The women's indoor team placed fifth bringing home individual conference titles for The Rock were Julia Kane, Cameron Daugherty in, in pole vault, DJ Chisholm in the 60 meter dash, Derek Fiedler in the heptathlon, and Derek Hedgelin in the 60 meter hurdles. The SRU basketball team won on Saturday with a score of 70 to 69. Se senior forward Devin Taylor led the team with a career high of 26 points and his 11th double-double of the season. The Rock moves up to a 19-6 record with their two wins this past week. The team heads to Gannon this week for their final regular season game. A win could put them in great shape for the upcoming PSAC Championship Tournament. Now, here's Ryan Noblet with your weather forecast for this week. Thank you, Alyssa. Well, as you can see, tomorrow we have a very high chance of rain, about 80% chance, but the temperatures will still remain high as they have been, well, relatively high, at about 37 degrees. That night, between Tuesday and Wednesday, it'll drop to about 34, and we'll see a chance of rain and snow, which will carry on into Wednesday. Now, the high is 39. It looks a little weird that we're going from 37 to 39, but a chance of snow is mixed in. That's because the upper atmosphere is a little colder than what it is down here, and it's making a little bit more snow up there. That night, it'll drop down to 29 degrees, and snow will be likely on Thursday with a high of 32 degrees, about a 60% chance of snow. Friday, we have yet another chance of snow as the weather continues to drop in temperature. 
It's, we have about a 31 degree high on Friday and 29 on Saturday. Sunday and Monday are looking like my picks of the week, even though it's going to be mostly cloudy and pretty chilly at 27. We're probably not going to see any precipitation on those days. And really all I have to say is I think Punxsutawney Phil might have been a little bit wrong in his projection. I think we're going to have to wait a couple more weeks for spring. Back to you, Alyssa. Thanks, Ryan. That concludes our report for this week. Thanks for joining us here on WSRU News. I'm Alyssa Cerencioni. And I'm Kenneth Moore. Have, have a, a great, great day, day Slippery Rock. Rock.